uh, education, enrichment, and empowerment. And we're sitting here with the T to the E to the M to the P to the E to the R with her little fine self. We are. She, don't get nervous now. You scared? Don't be scared. I'm shy. I'm shy. Don't, don't get shy. I'm a Scorpio. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what Leo's doing. Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a lion though. Thanks for the roar. Even though you're a Scorpio. Wow. They don't roar though. I know. <laughs> Sting, right? I think. I don't know. Okay. The six of red. Let's go ahead and get into this interview. All right. Uh, temper. Um. Somewhere on your fan list, I saw a young lady inspiring to aspiring to be just like you. Uh, what advice would you give her for following your footsteps? Uh, first, don't be like me. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that out the way first. Um, I mean, you can use everything and everybody around you as motivation mm -hmm. um, until you find your truth, but never want to be like anybody else. You know, that's why we call individuals, you know, for a reason. But... I mean, if you're chasing a dream, you most definitely have to be secure within yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be strong as an individual and mm -hmm. know that it's a lot that comes along with this world. Mm -hmm. And you just have to be ready for it. And you cannot doubt yourself. Like, if you're the only person that believes in what you do, be the only person that believes in what you do. You have to tune out the rest of the world when it comes to chasing a dream. Preach, Tipper! But you know you're a role model, right? Uh huh. I, I, I don't want that responsibility. No, but no. <laughs> Charles Barkley said, I'm not a role model, but you are a role model. You definitely are. So, now, since you know you're a role model, mm. what advice would you give this young lady who says she wants to be like <laughs> temper? Oh, meaning, she... meaning things you have messed up in your life, okay. meaning things you have uh, uh, accomplished in your life. Good things. Right. So, this young lady wants to be like temper. You want to be little like temper? Little temper and a big temper. So, what, what advice would you give her? Uh, since you know you're a role model now. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't want the responsibility of a role model, but uh, since you put it like that, mm -hmm. um, what advice would I give them? Mm -hmm. I mean, what are they? I they they like literally want to be like me? Yes. Okay, I will help you out. Thank you. Thank you. This you. Complex question. Yeah. So <laughs> I was I was um, trying to tweet on your uh, no on Instagram, uh -huh. and I see you had um, 40,000 followers. Oh, Instagram? Yeah, 67,000. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute now. Hold on. So, uh, I would assume you're on Facebook also. Yes. So, yes. you maxed that out, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, they turned it to a business page. I had so many uh, followers on there. Okay, so, you have to, you have to know that when you put these videos up of yourself performing, I saw one, I think you and Kyle the Body was doing push-ups. Yeah, I'm just working out. Yeah, and uh, that is something that people would look at and say, "Hey, I want to learn how to do that." Or when you're performing, or in your, and when you're in your element. So uh -huh. these are things that people are going to gravitate to you. Okay. You know, the good and the bad. So that's what we're saying. You know, you have these young, youngsters coming up behind us because you're paving the way right now. And trust me, somebody wants your spot. You are, for it. you are trailblazers. <laughs> you and Carla, y'all trailblazers. So, people coming in, you guys are opening the doors mm -hmm. for this type of uh, avenue for women in the LGBTQ community. Okay. Well, I mean, like I stated earlier, like you, you have to tune out the rest of the world, like when it comes to anything that you want, you know, what I'm saying or, or what you want to become as a person, you know, what I mean, and that's what I had to do. Like I had to really stop caring about a lot of things, you know, what I mean, and, and I had to learn that. Failure is just an illusion, and it's no such a thing as really losing. Like you gain from everything that you go through. You know what I mean? It's so it's so easy to be lazy. Like lazy people always say, <laughs> it, it, is. It, it is. It's hard. It's hard to just like really work. Like really work towards something. It really is. Uh, I like that. It really. Is. So you have to watch who you surround yourself with. I mean, you have to be open to growing as a person. Like every day. Like you have to use everything around you as motivation. You have to. That's it. You see what you don't want to be like, and you see what you want to be like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything is motivation. Like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go down this road. <laughs> I'd rather take this direction. You know what I mean? And you got to stay positive, man. You have to. Well, I heard from a, a great uh, motivator that he's entered into this, this uh, genre now, Steve Harvey. And he said that failure is just God telling you that that's not the way he wants you to go. And that he's rerouting you. And that it's not like a devastating situation. Right. 
and you can't you can't deal with failure <clears throat> in that regard to say I just give up. Mm -hmm. All it is is that you need to do and come back and restart all over and take another direction on the approach for where you're trying to go. That's how everything is a learning experience. And I said, wow, yeah. I like that. That's I why like I said failure is, is just an illusion. Like you have to go through these necessary stages in your life to get to somewhere great. You have to. So if you don't experience the downfall, how are you going to appreciate when you're actually up there? You're absolutely right. That's how you stay humble. You have to remember where you come from. That's how you stay hungry. Hungry and humble. Yes. Humble is so much more important. <laughs> you, you have to stay humble. Yeah. It's easy to, to lose. Easy to lose. So it's hard to gain. I'm just curious. Uh, who or what has been your biggest inspiration? Who? Well, okay, it's not a particular person. Um, it's life in general. Like, I see where I want to be, and I just use that. That's my energy juice. That's that's my kickstart. <laughs> it's life. You know, I know what me and my family been through. I know they're really not living. And I'm like the only person that can get them where they need to be. You know what I mean? I took everything from them. Looks, talent, charisma. <laughs> 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 everything. So I, they depend on me right now. You don't have to be unapologetic for it. <laughs> Do not be unapologetic. It's, it's okay. It's not boasting or bragging. It mm -hmm. is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. So, you said you know where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind uh, not getting too personal, where, where is that? Um, well, I want to be in a situation where I can help a lot of people. Like, I want my blessings to be everybody else's blessing. So wherever, actually, this this how I look at it. Like, I don't have a particular plan. I just, I got oxygen in my lungs, and I got faith in God's plan for me. So you sing also? No, no. So you, I know how to use my voice. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot. I did, a little bit, you know, it's not my passion, but I'm, I wouldn't mind actually, you know. Well, you know, Shy, our friend, our good friend, uh, Sky, Arthur Sky, uh -huh. she's like uh, just levitating about you in this, this yeah. role that she's her moving. She, she just almost. She's like, she's going to bring that thing to life. I know. And, and, I, and, and I believe in her, too. She's willing uh, this to happen. You that know? Denise character, that's me. Yeah. She's, you would have thought she knew me all my life. That's, really, that's me. She's willing this, this, this movie to uh, be funded for this, this, this screenplay to bring, uh -huh. bring that book to life. And, and uh, when you have that and somebody with that much, that much passion about what they want, it's like no matter what, no matter what, this got to happen gotta happen and, and it's gonna happen and I think she connected with some good people that's gonna probably help her push it mm -hmm. especially the fans out there that's reading the books yes yes, yes. yes. great author yeah definitely we love her wish we could have had her back up here with you because I'm sure she would have lost her mind <laughs> <laughs> she should be coming out tonight oh okay okay <laughs> yeah that's right you're gonna be in town at 5959 Winchester at Deuces Bar and Lounge. What time does the show start? Well, the door's open at 10, right? 10. Yeah, door's open at 10. Um, show time starting around 12. 12. 12. 12. So, so make sure y'all in the building. So what, what can the ladies expect from you tonight? A little, a little, a little sexy. A little <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what you Set down somewhere. I'm going to give them a little performance. You know, I like to... I like my performances to be a little personal. You okay. Know what I, mean? I don't like to, you know, have a whole bunch of people in the crowd looking like I'm Chief Keith. And um, so, <laughs> yeah, just a personal experience. You're gonna get, you know, my thoughts in a row tonight. All right, all right. You try to do some twelve play, R. Kelly. You know. <laughs> you try to do a little twerking. TV, TV, just TV four. <laughs> well, well, well. Back to this piece that you were talking about in the beginning. You, you. Your spirit hit my spirit when you were talking. And uh, uh, the power of believing in yourself, positive thinking. Right. And positive thinking goes a long way. Even if you don't have any money, mm -hmm. you don't have any direction, you don't have any resources, anybody, positive thinking goes a long way. That inner dialogue. And uh, uh, your inner dialogue, you just, you blessed me big time, but uh, uh, it makes a big difference when you believe in yourself. It do. I, I mean, like literally, you don't have to have anything. But if you believe in yourself, all things yes. are possible. And I can I can guarantee that it takes a it takes a minute to get to that mind state, but you're going to get there. Like as long as that's what you want, that's uh -huh. where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You're going to get there. What, what what got you there? 
I just, I don't know, like one day I really just stopped caring. You know, I used to allow like people comments and negativity to, you know, get me down. And then one day I just said what I can't say on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> say boo! <laughs> I just said, boo-boo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, that, that makes a, a, a big difference because a lot of us are uh, um, blocked in life because of this, this these mm -hmm. two words, inferiority complex. When people got a problem with you, they really don't have a problem with you. Like, no. Anytime they voice a negative uh -huh. statement, uh -huh. it's really not... A person, don't take it personal. Right. There's really something going on with themselves. Like Pretty simple. Yeah, it's like it's inner. That has nothing to do with you. So don't take it personal. That's good. And that's how you have you have to view it that way. Temper, you blessing my soul today. Hello. You know, Hello. You know <laughs> what about other uh, great motivational uh, authors that we listen to? Les Brown. Les Brown says that what people think of you. It's none of your business. That's true. That's not my business. <laughs> you have an opinion that's awesome. Be great. I'm going to let you be great. Definitely. But that has nothing to do with me. That's personal. Well, listen, we have to take a quick break. You're listening to AM 990 Talk Radio, KWAM. The Unleashed Voice for the LGBTQ community. Don't change that down. We'll be right back with Temper, all the way from California. <laughs> 